Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the show. Yes. Welcome back to the show. But we ain't gonna tear it too long. We got to talk about the situation. I went over there and had a serious conversation in my mind, of course, talking to Kenya. Okay? Because Kenya just looking like a fool out here in these streets. All right? Just going to keep it 100 because she's doing too much. She is definitely doing too much. She's going around him trying to play up. Uh, I got the longest divorce going. Can you won't give a shit about that? We 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 left Ma way back in 2021. Okay, that's when we left his ass. But we don't understand why you still hand left him. Pass on those financial documents of yours because you already got the judge gonna steal the shit. Well, we can't find out nothing, but you already know because we're friends like that in my mind. All right, that's what we we, we having a great friendship here. But you know, friends help friends, friends tell friends when people are doing idiotic type shit out here. So we don't want to hear about that. I'm sorry, we don't want to hear about it, Kenya. Don't want to hear about no long divorce. Really don't care too much to hear about your love life, all right? We really don't because we know it's it, you too much. You do, you're doing too much out here is what I'm saying. And I came over here. Or I went over her house, you know, and, and had a little conversation with her called, you know, she looked bad. I'm looking bad. I'm looking bad. She looking bad. You see what I'm saying? So uh, I was going around here saying, you know, this is some stuff going out on here on these streets in Atlanta, you know, telling me that you had somebody do a body double. You had a body double. You had a stunt person. Kenya, you up on Tamara Hall show saying this, that, and the third, talking here and there and everywhere, and still ain't saying shit. Now I watched it. I watched you over there. You know, sitting up there, what, two years later? Was it four years? Going back to the Tamara Hall show to basically tell her, you don't really know what happened with your marriage, but you're moving on. How the hell you moving on? You ain't moving on, baby. You're not legally, by the law, separated from Mark. You're not divorced. You keep treading water over there. We don't told you. Drop the line, okay? Drop the hell up. Pull up the ankle, okay? Pull that ankle up out that water so we can get the floating on, okay? We can go mosey ourselves down this lake, river, wherever you want to find yourself in your mind being at. But you come in with the shits and we're telling you to slow up. We don't want that shit. We don't want it, all right? We want you to get back to your slay assassin cell. Uh, get dolled up, and then go slay some bows. You know what I'm saying? Go slay some bows. But it was troubling. It was troubling that media takeout, Kenya, came out saying, allegedly, that you had somebody do your stunts for you. And you were telling us on Tamara Hall Show now that you were getting things done where they need to be done. Okay? It was hard. It was grueling. But you made it do what it made it do. But you know, I don't know, Kenya. I don't know. Things looking kind of shaky here. So tell me what the damn truth. Did you go over there to Jordan and just have a relaxed time out there? And the people that we saw that was you, we thought was you, was a double curl. Well, let me tell you what media, media take out don't roll up on your ass. Well, tell me, Deb. Tell me. Um, give me time. Give me a beverage to drink and some snacks, okay? So I can just fill you in. Uh, by example of what I heard and what my perspective was on what they said you did. And they're going to give me some stuff. Okay? So I'm sitting down, tasting the hors d'oeuvres she gave me and stuff. You know, she's a cheese and crackle, kind of fruit-like person, you know. So she had me a nice little spread for myself. And uh, I was saying, um, Kenya, did you think this thing through? 
when you caught yourself getting a coin, getting a dollar, getting the greenbacks, baby. Because some money ain't good money. You know what I'm saying? It put you in another light, put you in a negative light, and we see you as a strong, successful young woman, honey. But guess what media take it out is telling on your ass, okay? And I just want to make sure that we're on the same course so I can go out there in the public eye and defend you like I always try to defend you. But when I see shit like that, that don't make no kind of sense. Child, please, let's, let me go back to the source. Let me go back to the source. But the source I was telling Kenya about was media takeout. Okay, then let me just give it to you a little bit. I said, Kenya, they titled it Atlanta Housewives Kenya More Fake. Okay, let's go on back for the people in the back. Let's go a little bit back, a little bit further back. They said you fake scenes on Special Forces, world's toughest test stunt double exposed. And then they had you being exposed to a white woman trying to act like she was you. Mm-hmm. It's a real Housewives of Atlanta star. Kenya Moore is starring in the new Fox reality series, Special Forces, World's Toughest Test. There's one problem with it, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Me to take out MTO that sometimes get it right, sometimes get it wrong, but lately they've been getting shit right, okay? Media takeout, media takeout is on your ass, Kenya. They said you was faking at least some of your scenes. And I said, ah, I put my hand to my chest and went back a little bit and said, what? Not my USA. No, no. Not. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. That couldn't be her. She's a solid woman. What the hell are you talking about? This, well, sit there and let me uh, give you a little bit more intel. Okay. So they said, the Real Housewives of Atlanta personality star and 15 other celebrities participated in what Fox calls the ultimate celebrity social experiment. The plot involves participants enduring extreme uh, training challenges under the leadership of ex-Special Forces operatives. Okay. Unfortunately, Kenya didn't have to do all the extreme training. Media takeout has confirmed. See, here we go. I don't know if you got your friends over there. I told you, stop opening up your mouth when you cross the border, girl, okay? And you way over there in Jordan. Now, who was you titling all your, your shit to, can you? That's what I want to know. But they said over here, before you got back, they had already sold the story to media takeout, girl. They had already sold, told the story on your ass that you weren't doing over there. But I guess playing tiddlywinks. Or Uno or Go Fish. I don't know which one it was. But it wasn't right. It wasn't right because they brought the tea all the way back to home, to Atlanta, girl. Now, how am I going to go out your ass when you sit up here telling people your business all across the country? Don't make no damn sense. But anyway, now tell, let, me, let, me just, let me give you a little bit more to digest on, okay? It said, um, media takeout, review footage, and it's clear that Kenya used a stud a stunt double on at least a few of the scenes. What's crazy is that the stunt double didn't even look like Kenya. The stunt double was a white man. Now, what, what, what kind of shit is that? At least you could have had a woman fake like this, that, and the third. Yeah, you had a man. And to tell you, the only, I don't seem all to be that much believable. But it seems like they got you on a barrel, girl. I'm trying to understand the situation before I had to go out here and kick some ass, okay? On your behalf. But anyway, we're going back. It says, look, here's a screenshot of them showing Kenya and her Caucasian male stunt double. Okay, Kenya, of course, is pretending that she's actually uh, doing all the difficult training. The Bravo star spoke to Fox 5 Atlanta about why she wanted to take on grueling challenges. And see, you had your PR person write this shit up for you. And I told her, oh, write some shit for yourself sometime. You know how to do this stuff. You don't get many PSA commercials and things of that nature. You know how to be your own PR person. But you, you drop the ball, girl. You drop you drop the shit in the bucket. You drop the shit in the bucket and then you close it up, girl. And it's just reeking everywhere. Everywhere. Where you don't been across the country and then you don't hit a lot of streets. How much you didn't do your own stuff. Girl, did you not do your own stuff? Tell me now. Or forever hold your peace. And I ain't talking about that shit you did with tracing over to I don't know what island you went when you set up there and said you was in love with Mark and you wanted him to be him and, and you wanted to shield him from uh, the press and the paparazzi and, and this stardom ship of celebrity, you know, reality shows. Well, how did the hell that get you? Because you still look like you're locked down, tied up, and 
<coughs> excuse me, held in restraints in the air. Mm-hmm. Because you still locked down with that, that ego, okay? They didn't treat you like, he didn't treat you like no can't queen. He treated you like shit. Hell, he was like needing for us over with. Now, how did that happen? How did that happen, can you? But just pause, put it on pause. Let me continue what I heard on these streets, okay? He said, I, want, I wanted to prove to myself. I don't know, I guess you had to prove to yourself. Because me and Bridget, y'all wasn't thinking about your ass. How much like, you want to prove something? Huh, girl, take a class. Sit down somewhere. Don't say nothing. Just go on back on the show. Make that million or so and, and, and keep it a book, all right? But anyway, he said, I wanted to prove something to myself. That I am as tough as I think I am, but I wanted to show my daughter that I not only talk the talk, but I can walk the walk, she said. I just want to be an example for her in terms of what she could do in her life. Hell, ain't she a more? Or is she a daily? Well, she can be hyphenated daily more, okay? That's a force to be reckoned with just off the tip of my tongue, daily more, Okay. I give you once a day more of activity. Do you see what I'm saying? Hey, it ain't no foolish, fucking fraudulent, fakery shit going on. Because Brooklyn looked like she going to handle herself. And she would damn sure have a prenup. What the hell you would drink it that night when you sit up there? You're going to just go throw caution to the wind and, and um you gonna you ain't going to get no prenup. Like, who does that, Kenya? Who does that? Your black ass because you're sitting up there still tied to the man. When you need to just turn in on financial reports and get it moving. But anyway, going back to the article. It said, I was almost disabled by fears of heights. Can you continue? I have this incredible fear of heights. And I felt like if I could overcome that, maybe with this show, it, it kind of taught me mind over matter. I said, Dan, you could have got you a book from the library. They could have told all the shit you need to do. Mind over matter. Hell, you could have came up to the house. I would have tried to, uh, what do you call that? Put you in a sunken place. We could have tried, honey. We could have tried. You probably had to get some medical help to run your ass back. <laughs> or you probably come up talking like a dog and a cat. I don't know. But the point is, if you're going to do some dirt like that, if you're going to like not do what you say you were doing, but you don't want to get caught, do it by yourself. Do all that kind of shit by yourself. Because it won't be nobody you have to try to shut up or they blackmail. You have to pay off for them to keep the story that you're trying to have kept secret. Told you that. <clears throat> okay. Since over the weekend, she posted on Instagram, you wouldn't believe me until you see it with your own eyes. We don't want to see it, can you? We don't want to see it. Can you wrote on Instagram about one of her harrowing experiences? This show is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life, and it was all real. No stunt doubles, just us and and in Amman, Jordan, in the Middle East, in the desert, in the summer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that ain't what they saying on these streets of Atlanta. Raining in Atlanta tonight. Had a few tornadoes touch down. But your girl, all right. We say, we say. Mm hmm. <sighs> but Kenya don't drain me. And I thought, Kenya, I got to go. Because she don't drain me. I, you know, I believe, I believe what the streets are saying. She went out of them, told her business, and got shit back over here. I don't know if they took a red eye back here from Jordan. But the shit got him before Kenya got him. I mean, you know that shit ain't right. Can you get your act together? Get your act together, and I'll be back. Because I, I heard some other stuff that I kind of come and talk to you about. But other than that, I'll see you later. Bye.